Aspen want a snack here, Aspen. Good boy, good boy. Proud of you, Aspen. You want a snatch. Come here, Din. Din Din wants a snack. Good girl. Good morning. So, I have been home for two days. I got here Sunday at like 12, and today is Tuesday, and I'm just not leaving the house for the first time, y'all. I really just needed to like sit down and relax, have some me, myself, and I time, some me, Aspen, and Denver time. So, I stayed in the house for about a day and a half. So, I'm finally out and about. Um, Right now, I'm at Shipley's Donuts, the best donut spot in Houston, Texas. I'm about to give me some fresh hot glazed donuts. Run some errands for the day. Might go up to the office today. We have our awards meeting. I haven't been able to attend that in a minute. So I'm looking forward to going up there to the office to see my KW people. And yeah, I'm pretty, I really have a really chill week. I don't have a lot going on. So I always look forward to just doing nothing because with the flight attendant world, you're just always on the go, 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 go. So, let's see what happens for the week. Oh, and I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas, y'all. Some of my favorite YouTubers before I even started doing YouTube vlogs did Vlogmas, and I love it. And December is right around the corner, and I want to do it pretty much for the full month of December, or at least until Christmas. So, I'm going to think on that. Just have to have, you know, content to post. And I mean, every day. Woo! We'll see what happens. Hi, good morning. good morning. Can I have two glazed donuts and a chocolate milk, please? Thank you. Shipley, so It's going to you. Go get Asta. Go get Asta. Denver, sit. Sit down. Sit, sit down. Aspen, give Denver a kiss. Aspen, give Denver a kiss. Fine. <laughs> Go on. So, I'm here at my uncle's house the house that I grew up in to pick up my car. He's been fixing some things on my car and just to say hi because I love my family. Is this one a baby? Hi. What's wrong? baby you're so cute yes you are and my uncle's birds his pigeons his hobby <laughs> one house in your family that literally never changes this house has been like this since I was like when did we move out of here I was 14 And there's my pretty grandma, most beautiful woman in the world, and my grandma and my grandpa. And then look at this throwback, y'all. This is a real throwback. That's me and my brother. I was that was tenth grade homecoming, I think, or no, senior year homecoming, because Andre was a freshman. So I just got my car back from my uncle's house, my little Missy the Mazda. I've had her for about four or five years now. I actually had plans of buying a new car before I had got my CJO 
and then I realized that first year flight attendants are not making a really good salary so it wouldn't have been smart for me to go and buy a car and get a car note and things like that like yes I still have my um, real estate income but as y'all know I've slowed down on my business a lot so I just decided to have some patience and wait so I just leave Misty the Mazda with my uncle while I'm gone so he can do maintenance and fix some of the things that's wrong with her because she's definitely not perfect but I'm so appreciative of Misty she's been my ride or die y'all like when I need to be whipping these streets of Houston Texas she's always there with me <laughs> so what I'm hoping for is that y'all know I have plans to like be a real real true commuter by like June or July and just completely get rid of the apartment in New York and just commute from Houston to New York to base and do my flights on the weekends y'all know the goals so hopefully around that same time I'll be able to um, purchase a new car as well because I really want one and then I'll I'll probably really just still keep Misty because like I was saying she's ride or die um, and I have a little cousin that'll be 16 in February so maybe I'll give it to him and hopefully he'll take care of her it could be his first car or you know just whatever but I want a new car in February I really want an SUV um, so give me some recommendations y'all like I'm really open but I just really want an SUV I like driving bigger vehicles so comment down below tell me what y'all think I should get I'll start looking into some things nothing too expensive because I'm a baller on a budget <laughs> but something nice and cute that's gonna fit my personality Items that I'm probably gonna buy during the sale. Yes, boot. See, 101.40. That's gonna be 50% off that. So it's gonna make these shoes like $55 with tips. I'm here sure that I'm in love with these, but this is a nice little booty to go under a pant. Sam Edelman, $84. 50% off of that. I'm here for it. <laughs> yes, Dillard. Yeah. So, guys, I just left the joint chiropractor place. <sighs> Freaking love going there, y'all. So, I've been going to the joint um, for like two months now, and I don't go as often as I need to because obviously I'm never home. But it's kind of like a massage envy where they have like um, like a monthly deal that you do. So, I bought six six services or whatever and I've that was my third time going and it just feels so good like I was always scared to go to the chiropractor because I feel like they were gonna crack my neck and I was gonna die or something <laughs> but I got to the point where I was having so much like tense shoulder pain and back pain that I finally said you know what let me just go um, and every time I go it's like they pop everything and it's just like a release. Like it just, my whole body just feels so much lighter. Hey y'all, it's dark outside, but I am walking up to church. Y'all, I haven't been to my home church in a long time, like longer <laughs> than I'm willing to admit. I've been to a few churches in New York, but they're not like home, you know? John Gray is preaching tonight. He is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy to be here. I had just been feeling like I needed to get in the house of the Lord and, you know, just be appreciative of all the blessings that I had been receiving lately. So I'm happy to be here. It's Wednesday night. I leave Sunday and I'm trying to leave. Um, sorry, I'm like breathing hard. It's like kind of windy outside and I'm walking. And, whew, 
and I'm out of shape. <laughs> but I leave Sunday, so I don't know if I'll actually be able to attend church service Sunday or not, but I'm grateful to be here tonight. So I'm gonna go get my praise and worship on. It's Christmas. It's Christmas season. So Anybody know my faith? Now faith. Not tomorrow faith. Now faith. Number two, don't forget my position. My position is a son. I'm a son of God. You better know, don't, don't play me. I'm a, my dad runs this whole thing. Don't mess with me. Finally, my purpose. What's my purpose? To produce glory. Dreams and ladders. The only thing I want to do is produce glory. Is there anybody in here who just says, God, get glory out that was so amazing y'all John Gray is everything like that man just preaches to your soul like <sighs> I feel rejuvenated I feel great I'm about to go take my friend out for a birthday dinner and call it a night <laughs>